Hey guys, so I've just been getting a lot of requests recently about Skarner in the new jungle and the new jungle and Skarner in general. So um, I'm just going to try a quick little rundown here of kind of the path I take in the jungle, um, how long it takes, what I do, what I'm looking at, um, to kind of maybe help you out if you are interested in Skarner in the Season 5 or pre-Season 5. Uh, so yeah, here we go. I've just started a game by myself, um, so this is obviously going to be without a leash. Usually if you get a leash, it's always better, both faster and safer. Um, to no one's surprise, I'm going to be starting uh, Machete and two health bots. It's really the only setup right now. Um, I should have already, if you, like, because I'm making this for a post, like a Reddit post. So um, if you check that, you should see what runes and masteries I'm running. Um, so I'm not going to go over that, because that information's already there. And I'm realizing now I probably should have started the video a little bit later, so we're not waiting here for another minute. But um, that's going to happen. Um, generally what I do though is when I start out here is um, blue or red side, I'm, I like to start blue. Well, okay, blue or red side, I like to start towards my blue buff, um, Gromp specifically. Um, there's two kind of options. If you really want, you can start Krugs. I think those were, yeah, Krugs, these things, old golems. Um, you're going to want to smite either uh, Gromp or the Krugs, because the buff you get from them is way better for clearing the jungle. Uh, and then you can just go to your your buff. Um, Skyrim doesn't have that much of a problem clearing the second buff, or the first buff by himself. So you want to start, yeah, at Gromp. For the poison, um, it gives you kind of like a reflective poison shield, and these will let you stun minions. Both are really good on Skarner. Um uh, but yeah, be just because of I like to abuse Skarner's shield for sustain, um, I like to start blue. Because if you don't, you're going to run out of mana and you won't be able to get the full clear as safely or as quickly. Um, but, you know, if, if you start on blue side, team side, and you want to gank top, you still can start red. Um, I just, that ain't me. So you're going to want to come over here, um, ask your top laner for release. You usually won't get one from your mid. But um, as soon as this pops up, you can just smite and start spamming Q. That's all that takes. Um, you usually don't even need to start a potion. My potions are in the wrong place. There we go. So that's dead. Pop your shield immediately, run over. You can see that my stacks still maintain. So I still have three uh, stacks on my pass, or my Q, as I go over to do red. And you can see that reflective shield combined with my AoE from the Q is actually melting these things pretty quick. I still haven't popped my second potion. And again, this is without a leash, so you can, you'll can actually see by the end of this that Skarner has a pretty good uh, initial clear. I'm going to pop my thing. I'm going to lose my stacks here, though, because I wasn't really paying attention. You can keep them from blue, from blue two wolves. Not that tough. Just make sure you try and last hit with Q, but it's not a big deal. And you can see the amount of times that I've used my Q. Had I started red, I would definitely be out of mana. Kill these things. Um, because I do a full clear... Um, before really ganking, I'm going to put another point in Q because E doesn't really help you a whole lot in the jungle uh, for clearing. I'm going to move right over to red actually though. Um, do not, do, don't expect to be counter jungled. I've yet to be counter jungled at my own red. Um, I'm not saying it won't happen, but it's not a big deal. You can smite red. Smiting red gives you a bunch of HP back, which is really nice. Uh, then you can move over here. Kept my stacks up, you can see, between red buffs and raptors. Still spamming my shield, because with blue, you don't run out of mana. Keep spamming. Clear those, and you can go finish up with Krugs. So that's kind of my jungle path. Gromp, blue, um, wolves over to red, and by that time your smite's going to be up. Um, then you backtrack back to your raptors, and then you can come finish up these Krugs. Um, by the end of this, you're going to have... I'll show you what I buy when I go back. Um, but you're going to be level 4 in under 4 minutes, and remember, that's without a smite. You saw how easy that was. Now I've got my E, so if I want to go gank off my back, like, if you were healthy enough, you might be able to gank bottom with your E, um, which is pretty cool. Um, or top if you had started on red side over here. But when, once you go back, um, I go with the purple item here, uh, Ranger Trailblazer, for faster sustain, faster clearing. Skarna already has a great farm, so this only complements that. Pick that up, um, you can grab boots. And I think just because I've been sitting here talking, usually um, all I can afford is two health potions and a mana potion. So this is what you'll probably buy on your first back. Um, so the booze are going to help you get into position to gank because Skarner's early ganks aren't 
um, terribly effective if you can't get close to them or you can't land your E. Boots are going to help with that. Um, your Trailblazer jungle item is going to help you basically not run out of mana or health. It's gonna, like, I can go here and just start farming. I could go to any lane, try and get a gank off. Um, but again, with Skarni, you're probably going to just want to farm up. Um, because again, you're level 4 in under 4 minutes. That's pretty good. Um, so if you can race to 6, Skarni's 6 ganks are amazing. But that's, I'm going to cut it short here because that's, again, my initial build. Um, one more time, Gromps, Blue, Wolves, Red, Raptors, Krugs, Back. Get your Trailblazer, get your Boots, 2 Health Potions and a Mana Potion. And then just have fun. Okay, see you guys.